Hi friends, today I'm going to explain you how to capture the image of your Azure VM and how to generate the new VM from that particular captured image. So before that, in case if you are not aware how to create the Azure VM, please go through my video Azure VM creation configure IIS deploy website. So the first part will explain you how to create Azure VM. So after creating the VM, now first install some softwares or copy a few files to the Azure VM which you have created. Then you will understand whether the same image is being created or not. So basically to cap uh, the purpose of capturing this image is to copy the files whatever you require for the new VMs. Also, the software is whatever you want to install, you can install on that particular uh, VM instance so that uh, whenever you create a new instance, you don't need to repeat the same process of installing and copying the files required every time for every mission. So it will save a lot of your time because your installation process may take uh, uh, maybe a few hours for each and every mission. Instead, you can just uh, do the complete setup on one particular mission and you can take that mission as a source for all the new missions which you are going to generate as part of this demo i'm going to to do two things one is copying uh, files to that particular virtual mission also installing one particular software to that particular virtual mission so that uh, we can create the image and see whether that particular new image is going to have these files or not so first let me copy one exe file that is sorry msa file mobile x team to my remote desktop So this is the virtual machine I have created and it gave me the public IP as well. So I logged in into that. So when I'm copying that MS, MSI file, I'm also going to copy a couple of uh, my other files from here just to see whether the copied files are going to be there on my new virtual machine, which I'm going to generate through the image process. So I'm also going to copy the two different PPT files from my other mission to here. So meanwhile, I will install the software from the MSI. The system is pretty slow, or maybe because I have taken the low configured mission from the VM. It's just uh, one core, one V1 core and uh, 3.5 GB RAM. So mobile X, mobile X term will help you to access your uh, Linux missions uh, through command prompt. but uh, we are not going to use it here but uh, only intention is like whether that particular software is uh, installed pre-installed with the uh, new vms you are going to generate through the image so i got a command here it's okay um, my intention is not to open that but at least uh, whether that is installed or if you want to cancel so Okay, so let us go ahead and create uh, the uh, capture the image first and then create a new VM from that. So I have installed 
mobile x term and also two ppt files to here capture so i'm not changing the name if in case if you want to change it go ahead so zone resiliency that's fine for me type of uh, virtual machine okay first it is going to stop the virtual machine which is running so after stopping the virtual machine then it is going to create the image so this is one thing it is going to happen and parallel in case if you don't want to keep the uh, original vm you can also select this particular button automatically delete this virtual machine after creating the image but i want to keep the original vm also that is the reason i'm not uh, checking this checkbox but in case if you want to delete it the original one you can go ahead and delete it uh, i'll just wait for two minutes until this uh, process is completed uh, stopping the virtual machine and creating the new one hi friends uh, after uh, 10 minutes uh, i could see this like successfully stopped virtual machine and um, yeah approximately five to ten minutes it may take time based on your bandwidth and all so after this let us just go ahead and check the image and one more thing you have to remember is like uh, after creating this image the original vm is useless that means you can't use any more that particular virtual machine so it's always better to delete that one uh, or that's your uh, wish but yeah let me go to the image so first let us go to the resource group under the resource group uh, you can find that particular virtual image which you have generated this is my resource group so under this resource group you can find my demo my vm demo image image so this is the image we have generated so now what we have to do with this is like let us go ahead and create a new vm so i'm just trying to create a new vm add let me show you first where that particular image is available so here under the images you can see all the predefined images by the azure like uh, the different operating systems but in case if you want to browse to your uh, customized image go to the browse all public and private images click on it go to my items under the my items you can find all the images what you have created so far okay uh, but marketplace these are the uh, plenty of uh, images created by the private people even you can create your own uh, image and you can publish to the marketplace so that people will use it and you can uh, put it under the SaaS model uh, okay let us go back okay i'm going to use a resource group for my demo image but my virtual machine is going to be my demo from the image created so the same location i'm going to take so i don't need no infrastructure redundancy uh, if you i explained already availability zone and availability set me in my other video where i have created a azure virtual machine please go through that so let us select our copy my items and this image so we are not selecting their images their predefined images I don't need uh, you can take it here from the spot instance and all those stuff you can take uh, two vcu vp vcpus 8 gb that all fine i mean to create user id password for this oh uh, this is uh, i want to access through remote desktop that is the reason i'm just setting up the user id and password so i'm enabling http and windows licenses that is all fine now go with the standard HTTP for less expenses but in case if you are going to go with the real time go ahead with the uh, uh, ssd uh, because it will give you better performance uh, encryption type is let it let us go with the default options i explained each and every option of this in my other video uh, better just go ahead and understand uh, in that video about all these details so 
I'm not going to select anything here. Go ahead with the defaults. Not what it. Uh, you don't need to select because uh, this property properties might be might have been taken from the earlier uh, image. My image from snapshot. So open to the internet. This only recommended testing validation failed. Let us see what is the validation failed for the cactus or more. So validation is passed and I'm going to create it. So creation is already started, initializing the deployment. You can see under the notifications, updating deployment. It will take uh, uh, probably approximately two minutes. Uh, let me wait for that. Until that, I'll pause the video. So after approximately two to three minutes, um, it came to here, your deployment failed. Uh, but if you see the error message, um, it doesn't. you don't need to worry, but Probably it is because of the terminal I have configured that is about mob uh, x term. Uh, so, voice provisioning VM demo did not finish in the allotted time. However, the VM guest agent was detected running. This suggests the guest uh, because uh, I don't think there is a, any uh, critical problem with this one. Let me just go ahead and uh, still create open my new image created. So, let us go back to images under the virtual missions i have two one anyway i have uh, created uh, image from that so this is the one i'm going to access it now and i have created so copy the ip and uh, let us remotely access it copying that ip so use the user ready password you have set it up for this new VM. So if you remember, I copied a couple of files and also the mobile X term was um, configured on that let us see whether those files are there so on the new image i can see my two files and mobile x term as i mentioned the old virtual mission from which you have created this image is going to be useless so you can better delete it or you can dump it okay so this is a new image in the same way you can create any number of uh, new virtual missions from that particular image you have already generated so this is like manual creation. I will also show you how to do it through the command line and it will be faster like in case if you want to generate 20 or 30 images from one particular uh, virtual, mich uh, one part virtual mission image. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, I'll come up with more videos.